Hello everyone, I'm Ramesh and I'm a Senior Product Manager at AWS. Hello everyone, my name is Lakshmi. I'm a Senior Analytics Solutions Architect at AWS. In this demo, we will dive into a new feature in Amazon Data Zone. This feature enhances metadata governance for your data access approval process, where domain owners can now define and enforce metadata requirement rules for data consumers when they request access to data assets. Before we demonstrate the feature, let's take a moment to discuss why this is so important. Many of our customers have expressed the need for a way to ensure the data consumer provides additional metadata during the subscription process. This is often crucial for aligning with internal workflows and meeting regulatory standards. Take financial services as an example. Organization in the sector may require metadata like compliance certifications to grant access to sensitive financial data. Similarly, in healthcare, metadata requirements help ensure that patients' data access complies with the strict regulatory standards. But it's not just about compliance. Customers has also emphasized the importance of creating a guided experience for data consumers. This ensures they can easily fill out all the required fields while data owners gain the critical insight needed to make informed policy compliant decisions without back and forth. Now let's talk about how this new feature adds value for our customers. The capability benefits three stakeholders. First, domain unit owners can now enforce metadata requirements, ensuring access is granted only after a thorough review. This helps them align with compliance standards and organizational policies. Next, data consumers benefits from a simpler and more intuitive data access process. By guiding them to provide the necessary metadata, it eliminates unnecessary back and forth with data owners making the entire experience seamless. And finally, data producers gain clarity through a detailed subscription request. This enables them to make an informed and a confident approval decision, ensuring that access is granted responsibly and efficiently. Overall, the feature delivers enhanced control for governance, allowing admins and data owners to enforce metadata requirements and ensure critical information is captured for compliance checks and custom workflow support, enabling organizations to tailor their workflow by capturing specific metadata, such as AWS account IDs or project specific identifiers to meet unique business needs. In the rest of this demo, we'll walk you through how to set up and use Amazon Data Zone to enforce metadata rules and streamline your data access workflows. Let's dive in. For the demo, we consider three personas. Mary, who is the domain owner of the data platform. She is in charge of creating metadata forms and authorizing rules to enforce data consumers to provide additional information while requesting data assets. Fred from retail team is the data producer who is in charge of creating first class data products and publishing the metadata of the asset in Amazon Data Zone. This would then be available to other business units within the organization. On any request to the data asset, Fred would review the justifications and additional information provided by the subscriber and then choose to accept or reject the subscription request. Mike from marketing team plays the role of the data consumer who would like to discover all the assets created within the organization. To get customer data insights on the shipments, Mike would subscribe to the data asset published by Fred. While subscribing, Mike gives additional details enforced on the subscription by Mary. Once the subscription request is granted by Fred, Mike then consumes the data using his preferred analytical tools. To confine the scope of the demo, to the new feature release, let's assume that Fred from retail team has already published shipments data asset into Amazon Data Zone. This data asset is available for other teams to discover. Now let's understand how domain owner Mary 
enforces the metadata rules on the subscriber when they try to subscribe data assets from the retail team. Mary logs into Amazon Data Zone portal and creates metadata form with five custom fields. Metadata forms are custom schema information that augments additional context to the existing technical and business metadata in the catalog. As you can see, the domain owner asks the subscriber to provide certain mandatory fields such as business unit, SLA and agreement details. An example would be an agreement of right to revoke where the subscriber agrees that in case of any data breach or misuse of data found, the data owner has the right to revoke the subscription request. If there are pre-approved signed agreements between the business units, the subscribers can provide the link to the document. The domain owner can also put in optional fields such as contact email of the subscriber, which they can choose to omit. Once the metadata form is created, the domain owner clicks on the domain, goes to the rules, selects add and creates a metadata form rule. The domain owner chooses the required forms that needs to be part of the rule. Note that you can associate multiple metadata forms in the same rule. To define the scope of the rule, the domain owner can choose the rule to be enforced across data products, data assets, and also limit to specific asset types. Note that you can also enforce the rules on custom asset types. Additionally, the domain owner can choose to apply the rule to a specific project or all projects within the domain. When you select all projects within the domain, you also get flexibility to inherit or override those permissions to child domain units. In this use case, we restrict the enforcement scope to glue asset types on retail project. Once the scope is defined, click on add rule. Now let's look at how Mike from marketing team can search, discover and subscribe to the data asset. Mike from marketing team logs into Amazon Data Zone portal and searches for shipments data asset that has been published by retail team. Mike subscribes the data asset. Here he is asked to enter the additional details requested by the domain owner. Additionally, Mike also provides the justification on why he needs the shipments data asset and clicks on request. Once the subscription is created, a notification is sent to the data producer of the retail team. Next, we look at the subscription approval workflow process from the retail team. Fred from retail team logs into the data zone portal and sees an incoming request from marketing team. He reviews the justification and also sees the details of the requester. Additionally, Fred also clicks on the subscription form to make an informed decision before granting the access. Once the subscription is reviewed thoroughly, Fred provides full access to the data to Mike. Note in this case, you also have an option to provide restricted fine grain access control to the data to the subscriber. Further, Fred approves the subscription request with the decision comment as approved. Once the subscription is granted, Mike can now consume the subscribed data via interactive query engine Amazon Athena. Mike logs into the data zone portal and sees the subscribed data asset added to the environment. He clicks on the environment and selects Athena to query the shipment's data asset. The new metadata enforcement rule for subscription requests establishes a streamlined process for a governed data access experience for both data producers and data consumers. Thank you for watching the demo.